all the high kappa max that I have, all the high kappas that I uh, have. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna review the Novaridge SSP-1. It's a high kappa model based on a 1911. It's a pretty cool gun. I never thought I would own a Novaridge gun, but well, here it is. So let's uh, take an in-depth view of it. So if you buy this gun, um, you will get uh, a magazine, you get a gun, you get a key with it, uh, a valve key, I think. And you get this uh, pretty cool uh, box with it, with it, pretty uh, cool box with it. So this is it. If you watched my uh, other video, my previous video, I reviewed the Combat Master by uh, Army Armament uh, Jack Precision, uh, licensed by uh, Terran Tactical. This is pretty much, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's the same gun, but it's the same kind of gun. It's a high cap model. I really like high cap models. Uh, Got a few of them and this is a gun i didn't own because it's an average gun and yeah i've heard some good things about it and i heard some bad things about it and i've used it a few times now with a skirm and i really have to say it's a good gun it's it's a really good gun out of the box it's pre-upgraded you've got all kinds of upgrades in it and it shoots really, really, really straight. I've bought it with uh, three uh, um, CO2 max. And like I said, I own a lot of high cappers and all the high capper mags that I own uh, do fit this gun and it works works, um, works like, a, like a charm, it works like a normal gun. Yeah, some cool features about this gun is um, that you have uh, uh, extended uh, slide release. So I can't sh can show it. So if you um, are a right-handed shooter, it's very easy to um, release the slide. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So the grips, the lower uh, grip part of the the gun is. Pretty, pretty cool. I think they did an amazing job on designing this. It, it, it really feels good. In I've used it now. And if I compare it to other high cappers that I own, this is out of the box, a really good gun. Like I said, I, I've, I've read uh, some, some things about this gun. I've watched other videos. And there are people who have um, problems with it. Uh, mag problems or uh, problems with uh, cycling. Yeah, I, I, I can only say that other guns, other manufacturers do experience uh, the same, same uh, problems. Not every gun that comes out of a factory is a good gun. There are always some guns with problems. Yeah, the only thing you can do is return it to the, to the shop where you bought it, let them fix it or uh, ask for a new gun or something like that. If you look to the finish, it, it, the finish is, is really, really good. It's a nice uh, matte black. Yeah, mine is scuffed, scuffed a little bit because I've used it now a few times. Because yeah, if you want to review a gun, it's good to know how it works. I've chronoed it with these mags. I thought I had about 1.3 joules with a CO2 mag and with my green gas mags. Uh, it should about one joule with 0.3 BBs. In the Netherlands, you can shoot uh, above the 1.2 joules. So for me, it's, this isn't really working the CO2 max, but the green gas max will work. It's it's pretty much like other uh, high cap model. You've got your uh, ambidextrous uh, safety on it, like that. Um, works. Uh, Flawlessly, your extended slide release. You've got your uh, mag release. If you saw my other video, this one is a little bit uh, raised too, like the Combat Master, but it's not really a problem. It's almost the same as a normal high kappa or um, uh, 1911. You've got your beaver tail safety on it, cocked it, it won't fire. Puts the hammer back and you don't push the, uh, the, the beaver tail safety. Well, 
it's 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 pretty much the same. Don't know why I touched it, but it's 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 yeah, it works uh, beautifully. The engravings, uh, it's laser engraved, uh, Novridge SSP1, you've got your serial number here. Yeah, it's it's a good gun. So let's take the slide off, let's pull the slide release out. As you can see, it's extended, pretty cool feature. This is your lower, like other high capo models, Got this is a metal part. I don't know what it's the frame, I think it's the frame, and your grip parts are all uh, polymer. But yeah, that, that's like all other high kappa models. As you can see, internally, it's a high kappa. Let's take a look at the slide upgraded nozzle, upgraded hop up rubber in it can see it and like other models here is your hop-up adjustment you can turn it and you can adjust your hop-up your recoil uh, spring of guide spring guide is uh, fixed so there is no there's no movement in it pretty cool let's put it back and move to the If you take a look at the sides, uh, two white dots here and one white dot, bright white dot on the front. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. It's really good. You have no problem um, lining it up and, uh, and shoot somebody. And if you take a look at the barrel, it's the Novridge, um, what do you call it? Uh, the grooved, um, grooved barrel on it. And I think that looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It's a really, really nice feature. So yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's a. It's a pretty good gun. I think it works um, beautiful. I had no problems with it until now. But yeah, another nice feature about it is that you can adjust your trigger. So that's pretty cool. You can adjust it with an Allen key, with a small hole here, and there's the screw. Pretty cool. This is the end of the video. If you like this video, please leave a like, put a comment in the comment section and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you aren't already a subscriber, it will help out the channel a lot. If you have any questions about this gun or another gun or something, please leave it in the comment section and I, uh, I will answer it very quickly. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Ciao.